Hi guys, welcome to Daddy the Last Let's Play Together. My name is Kira and today we're going to paint a purple and turquoise dinosaur. dinosaur. Thanks Kira, we're going to get straight into it by starting with my number 14 filbert brush loaded with a lilac. And we're going to do the crown around the outside of the head. So we're just going right around the edge of the forehead and using the shape of the brush to create those sort of circles. Now the paint I'm using is a Silly Farm Rainbow Cake. It's got a mixture of lilac and two different dark purples, metallic and a regular purple. Not entirely sure of the name. Right, we've done right around the edge and we're going to go under the eyes and down to the tip of the nose just to create the outside shape of the mask. And we're going to fill the whole thing in and build all our shades over the top of that. So we're going to now get the darker purple on the same brush and we're going to just go around the inside of the eye socket and just make that darker just to make it look deeper. And once we've done this one we're going to do exactly the same thing to the other side. Now we're going to work on the forehead on the crowns. We're sort of creating sort of the dips of the, um, I don't know what to call it, the sort of the fanny thing that sits behind the head. And we're going to make it deeper at the bottom and we're going to add some, we're going to put some horns in later so we're just going to add some shadows to where those are going to sit and we're still just using the same brush and the same thing. Now we're going to fill in the scalloped sort of edges and I'm just going underneath doing the opposite of what I've done. Now I've thought of this and I think it would be much easier later on to um if you want to do it really quickly, just to use like a round dabber sponge and just pick up both colours on the sponge and just twist it around once you sort of just lay a straight face underneath it and then create the circles afterwards. I am now going to go back in and put a bit more water on my brush just to reactivate the paint and maybe a little bit of lilac and just blend all those colours in so you've got a nice soft blend. And I'm going to go right around the other side just really quickly picking them up and just giving it a nice subtle shading and we're going to fill out these inside bits as well. Alright now we're adding the, um, still using the same colour and the same brush. There's not a lot, of, I try to use the same brush for as much as I can just so there's not too much fiddling out and because I've used the lighter colour first I don't have to worry about washing it out too much and I'm going to build some shadows for these Bottom eyelids. Dinosaurs are old, so they've got sort of saggy eyes. And we're going to go inside and give it more of a frowny look as well, and just by flicking up in the middle of that. I'm just using my brush by turning it on the side to get really fine lines. I'm just going to blend that just into the white a little bit more, just generally with a dry brush. Right, now we're going to do some stenciling. I have a BAM crocodile um, stencil, and I'm using a seafoam colour from. I think it's Fab Paints, and I am just sponging into those sort of hollowed out bits of the crown, and I'm also going to use the sponge and highlight some areas with that seafoam colour and using the stencil. I'm not reloading my sponge, so it sort of it gives quite a faded look, and I'm making sure that my sponge isn't too wet, so it's sort of a very just subtle look we're going for in the background. I'm just repositioning my stencil. Just make sure it's nice and tight over the face. And there we go. And right next I'm going to add some um, spots. I've got a Snazaroo Sea Blue. Now I don't usually use this colour because it does have a wee bit of a habit of staining but if you use it over another colour it seems to wash off alright. And I'm just sort of making random spotty shapes. Just a bit on a couple on the eyebrow. And in the middle as well, and down sort of one side of the nose. Veering them inside of it as well. Alright, now I am going to start on the horns. I've got some wolf white on a number two lower cornell brush. And I am, because I haven't left space for it, I'm going to just try and use the side of my brush, just so I'm not picking up as much of the colour underneath, so I can keep a nice crisp white horn. And I'm going to go out to a point. Although, because it's sort of looking at me, I'm not going to give it a very sharp point. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Right, now is the fun part. Now is the outlining. Um, generally I start from the top of the design, but today 
I think with horns I always like to start there. Don't know what it is, I just like to get that bit over and done with. So I'm doing quite a thick line at the base of it, and that's where it sort of sits in there, so it's a quite a deep. The thicker the hole, the deeper the line. The thicker the line, the deeper the hole, I should say. And then I've done a thicker line on the bottom, and I'm going to do a nice thin line just on the top of it, just because the light would be hitting more of the top. And you get more shadow at the bottom. And I'm going to add some cracks in it, so just very tip of my brush, just sort of flicking it out. And I'm just going to smudge it in with my finger, just to sort of give it a bit more worn old crusty look I'm just flicking very quickly I'm using wolf black for this and then I'm going to line the little scalloped edges just keeping a nice fluid line so wiggling it as I go And then I'm going to go back on the top and do the same thing on the top row of them and just making them join in those middle bits. We're going to go right the way across and then we're going to go around the sides and do the sides as well. I'm going to add the base of the horns just giving it sort of like a lump that it sort of comes out of. I'm going to give it a few layers just for a few extra bits of rolls. And now we're going to just line the insides of that so nice and thick at the bottom where it's sort of the deepest and then really thin at the edges, so it sort of fades out to nothing. I'm just going to fill out those bits as well. I'll just these ones behind the horn. Now I'm going to do the outside of the line, sort of more that brow shape, so you don't really have the inside scalloped on that side, and then the outside scalloped bits. And I'm going to do the inside of the eye socket. Now I'm going to paint to the other side, and I'm going to go back with my dark purple on a, my filbert brush, and I'm actually going to blend that black in before it dries just to create a darker purple and then I'm going to reline it with my number one Snazaroo black brush loaded with black doing some wrinkles and there's some wrinkles on the inside of the eyes and they come around just that old sort of baggy style and they're sort of thin to thick to thin and now I'm going to outline as I've done the other side outline the bottom of the face my lines aren't perfect they're sort of I like that varying thin thick thin the whole way around also makes it really easier if you have to stop and reload your brush just to keep so you don't have to worry about keeping that line perfect i'm going to add some nostrils just sort of like teardrops just probably above their own nostril just flicking them in so they're darker on the inside and fade out lighter now time for highlights this is the same white brush that i used for my horns i'm gonna highlight just the tips of the scalloped edges. Um, I'm going to highlight the horns to make them really stand out. Even though they're white, the colour sort of fades, so just doing a really bright bit just along the top of the horns, fatter at the top and flicking it out to really nice and thin. going to line just under those horn bits as well, just bits, rolly bits that probably stick out and catch more light, and at the top of the, yeah, the head. And I've filled down some other lines and I'm going to add spots to some of those um, blue spots that we've already got there. I'm going to add white just to some of the wrinkles just to make them sort of stick out a bit more. And the inside of the eye, oops, I've missed. I'll go back with my black and fix up that side. There we go. I'm just going to finish adding some highlights. Add some highlights just around the top of the nostrils just to make it look like that skin's really sticking out and it makes that black, the contrast with black and the white makes that black look even deeper. Alright, so we're almost done. We're just going to add a bit of glitter now just to the bits that have got the stencils and any highlights I like to add the glitter. Just trying to avoid any of the black dark stuff and sprinkle the rest of it on and there we go one quick dinosaur now you could do this in any color for the boys you could add blues and greens just using different shades there we go we hope you enjoy it we'll see you next time bye, bye.